Welcome in everybody, I'm G Paw Silvermane, and I want to give a shout out to Francis Mendoza um, for commenting in one of my videos and asking for some of the best practices as an alliance leader that you can use. Um, and in this video, I kind of want to cover some of the best practices you can use, things, tools, tips to leading an alliance, effective, efficient, um, growing, flourishing alliance essentially. And some of these things might come off as harsh, brutal, um, people don't want to hear it because a lot of times the truth can be upsetting or can hurt, I guess. But I really want to make this video because they asked and I find that to be awesome. They actually commented a couple times asking about it. And I'm going to go ahead and jump in here and kind of talk about what I would do as an alliance leader. The things you can use to help you lead your alliance um, effectively to grow and prosper. Before I do though, definitely like and subscribe. Also, comment down below. If there's a video you want to see, something you have questions about, something I missed, definitely comment. We love to help each other in this community. Also, check out the Discord. Link in the description of the video below. We we, can't, we talk about all this stuff on Discord as well. Answer a lot of questions over there. But I think this is kind of a video that would help a lot of the player base. Even though, you know, a leader is only 1 out of 24. In our alliance, we have tons of people stepping up to lead. Um, I just founded the guild. You know what I mean? Or the alliance. Also, uh, subscribe. We're headed for a thousand subscribers, completely free to do. You're just notified when new videos go out. At that point, you can decide whether or not to watch them. It just helps the channel grow, completely free to do. Would very, very much appreciate it. I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. Um, much love. Also, like it if this helps you in any way, shape, or form. You enjoy the content. I do want to mention there is the settings on your YouTube. If you go into that little cog setting wheel thing, you can speed up the video to 1.25 or 1.5, and I'll talk quicker. The video will go way faster. And you'll get all the information. Just make sure you can understand what I'm saying when you're speeding it up. I actually watch YouTube videos at that with that setting myself all the time. And it's quite wonderful. All right. So let's dive in to alliances. So obviously you're going to want to create your alliance. I believe it's completely free to do. And you're going to want to do everything in your power to recruit. Um, so you're going to want to go into global, obviously, and put it out there. And you're going to get some hate speech. Nobody wants to join a brand new alliance, blah, 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 blah. Um, people will harass you. Hopefully you'll get better luck. You can recruit in global. There is great people in global as well. Um, another thing I'm thinking about doing, depending on how well this video is taken in, I'm thinking about doing a, a video every week or two listing off some of the alliances that are looking for members and what they're requiring. So definitely join my Discord, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment down below if that's something you'd like. And it'd just be like I'd pick out five or ten guilds or alliances, and I would go through and I'd talk about them and read them off so that way people out there that watch my videos can maybe join them guilds and or like it and some other people in the community as well we definitely want to thumbs it up though so the, that the Marvel Strike Force community gets recommended the video on YouTube um, so that's something I would like to do as well but one of the biggest things you can use if you're really going to lead an alliance is you need a discord because this chat down here um, yes you can go through and back scroll but you still miss messages I do believe as well as it's just you know this thing could get really long you're not going to see every message Communication is huge to being successful and doing what you want as an alliance. If you can, that is the biggest tip I could ever give somebody is to get a Discord. Um, and then you have to decide whether or not you're going to require it for your members. We have a few members in our alliance that communicate well enough on here and we can set up our raid lane assignments and they listen and they write it down and it works well. So they do miss out on a lot of conversation that's happening in our Discord chat channel though. So Discord's a big, big tip. Second thing to watch here, and this is one of the more important ones, is alliance donation. And people out there are probably like, you know, I'm, I'm a stickler about this. I kick people if they miss one day, um, two days type of deal. I'm real. This is one of the things that you can either help your alliance so much by clicking one button, or you can hurt 23 other players by not clicking a button. Quite literally, it is a daily objective, and you should be doing all your dailies, um, depending on what kind of alliance you are. If you're casual, this video, a lot of this might not be directed at you, because casual just means having fun and doing what you want when you want to. But there is a thing where it says to donate to your alliance. So you click it and you go over here and you donate 10K gold. Um, if all 24 members do that, let me show you here. So, well, wrong thing. That right here. It's not even all 24 anymore. It's 18 members that do this. You get your 10K back, but you're also getting these Stark Tech things. And that's what's going to power up your characters to push you further in raids and wars. Now, if all 24 do it, you're going to get another 15,000 gold on top of your 10,000. So you're actually prospering for doing this. As well as the rewards from doing the daily objective. It's one of the few ways, the only way, to get silver promotion credits for the Elite Red Star or, or store. So that's something to monitor. And I watch it right there. 
obviously you can go into members and you can sort through uh, raid keys daily if people are donating their 600 that's something to pay attention to if raids are flowing smooth and you're launching a, two raids every day um, without having to wait for keys I don't monitor it right you can give a little leeway here and there collection power to me does not matter um, activity does if you want to monitor your collection power you can I don't monitor it to me it's all about as if they're trying they're growing they're having fun go with it now last active is huge and this Sometimes it's not accurate, so watch and be careful when you kick somebody. Really monitor closely. Um, one day ago. This is something you probably shouldn't see, and I'm surprised. Alexandra's usually a really active, active member. Um, and they're a spender, so... Um, I can't imagine them just throwing this account away. Something's probably going on there, work, life, you know. Um, we're very active, but this is another way to monitor when they were last active. And like I said, this could be completely inaccurate. Because um, they do raids and everything else. They're great in wars, I don't understand what's going on there. Um, another useful thing here, and this is another, this is pretty much the second most important thing next to Alliance donations to me, and it's World War Milestone Participation. This happens every seven days, and these milestones are huge. It's one of the few ways to get T4s, okay? On a, on a weekly basis, you're getting 20. And 20 is not a lot, but if you're not getting them, that's 20 less you have than other people, other alliances and such. So this is very, very important, and I require 7,500 points a week. Quite literally, you can play the game three days and get 7,500 points. So if you're not getting 7,500 points, it's because you're not trying, okay? As you can see, somebody's at almost 11,000 with over two days to go. They're doing lots of blitzing. They're doing everything under the under the sun for scoring here. And this is how you score. Just from doing your five arena attacks a day, you're going to get 440 points, it looks like, a day. For five attacks a day. That's 440 times a week, seven. You're looking at 3,000 points right there for the whole week. Just from doing your five arena attacks every day. Which you want to be doing to get, you know what I mean, your cores and your payouts and stuff. Now, wars is a big chunk as well. You get 10 free war attacks times 8, 85 points. That's 850 points three times a week. That's another 2,500 points towards your world warrior. Between those two things, if you only do those two things, you're going to have around 5,000 out of 7,500 that you need. Obviously, if they're not raiding, I would kick them, you know. Rating, you're going to get tons of points. These 30s add up, and you're doing between 5 and 10 attacks in each raid. So you're getting between three and 600 points a day um, for rating. And that, that puts you over your 7,500. And then you got Blitz, whatever else you do in Blitz, essentially. You're going to be doing these things, your arena attacks, your rating and stuff. You're going to be hitting that participation milestone. If you're not, it's because you're not trying, okay? And that's where the problem will come in. I kick people that don't hit the 7,500. Now, let's say somebody gets 6,000 and something was going on in their life and they let you know that. Um, I've been busy. I haven't been on the game as much. Something's going on. I've been sick. Communicate it, you know. These these people are supposed to be your friends. Um, you're, they're your allies, your alliance, you know. You're part of a, a group of people trying to make com accomplish something in the game. So this is definitely a good way to monitor it. Now, if you come out and say, I'm watching you. You can't fart without me sniffing it. Um, you, you know, if you blink wrong at me, I'm going to kick you out. You know, that that's not a good practice either, you know. But you got to be real with people. And as an alliance leader, if you can distance yourself, which I've failed at doing because I've, um, the players in my alliance, I actually consider a lot of them to be my friends. And I really enjoy their, the conversation and just their personalities. You know, they really clicked. Um, you're not going to like everybody and you don't have to. If they're, they're meeting your requirements and stuff and you're being successful, you're going to thrive, right? Those are some of the biggest ways to monitor and or see. Now, Something that I've started to see here is not everybody... See, we have 19 out of 24 and 11 out of 24. There's still a lot of time left, but there's times that people don't even join the raid and get the rewards. Not They're hurting themselves right now, but long term, they're hurting your whole alliance. Um, so that's something you can keep an eye on as well. Because if they're not willing to participate in raids, they're not caring about the rewards each day. And you get a gold orb a day, depending on which raids you're doing. You get tons of raid credits, which gets you some of the best characters in the game. Um, as well as the gold rewards. Um, the gold is needed to spend a million gold a day. They should be raiding. I would just monitor it and, you know, give praise where it's due. You know, like down here. Um, grats, TJ, because he unlocked Silver Samurai. Whether or not that means anything about Silver Samurai, it's just congratulations because that's an awesome unlock in my opinion. And it's giving him props for playing the game and getting to that, you know, that milestone. Um, build a rapport. Um, show people that you truly care about them, and they're more likely, they're more likely to thrive and try, 
And you guys are going to grow and have so much fun at Marvel Strike Force. I'm telling you. This game is... The Alliance is one of the best parts about it. And the wars are so much fun. Now, like I said, try to part yourself from your, your members. Because you are going to have to kick people. And I always tell them when I kick them. It doesn't mean you're not my friend. We can still talk on Discord and hang out and stuff. Um... And you can still grow at your own pace, but you got to find a guild that's more suited for you. We have these set requirements. 7,500 points World Warrior, 10k donation, um, and 10 free war attacks every war. Now, if you get 8 or 9 war attacks, I'm not kicking somebody over that. There's days I don't even get 10 war attacks. Life comes up, you want to sleep in, you're dominating. What What's the point? You know what I mean? It helps towards getting a better payout at the end. Yes, you want those 10 free war attacks, but I'm not going to kick one of my friends out that's hitting every check mark and only doing nine war attacks okay that's not gonna that's not a deal breaker for me and you got to figure out where that is for you and your alliance starting an alliance you want to make it very clear of your expectations of alliance members and by them saying yes i can do that and joining your alliance and they understand it when they don't meet that and you have to kick them it's not as hard because you made yourself you made your requirements and your priorities clear and they agreed they could hit them now that they didn't it means they're kicking themselves essentially they're not you have to look at it different as an alliance leader if they're taking advantage of you oh if they didn't donate 10k they're not only hurting you as the leader they're hurting 22 other people 23 other people in your alliance um they're they're taking 15 grand out of each person's pocket as well as stunting their stark tech growth and it's as easy as clicking a button so if they're not doing it can you miss it every once in a while you can miss it once um, if you miss it more than that, it's because you're you're not trying, okay? Um, like, oh my God, I didn't log in or I forgot to click that. No, you first thing you do when you come in here should be donate 10K and then do your other dailies. Um, there's no reason not to do it. It's so, so important. Um, but those are just some of the things, practices, uh, ways to monitor an alliance and make sure that's thriving. Recruiting's tough. Get in as many discords as you can. There's tons of content creators out there, including myself, Tana, the main Marvel Strike Force uh, Discord, uh, Goofy Rexy, um, Hulk Smash, not Hulk Smash, what's his name? Uh, Valley Flying. Uh, there's tons of these envoys that are paid or employed by Scopely and Boundless that uh, have recruitment discords where you can recruit for an alliance or look for other members. And you can go in there and pick up members, you know, personal message them and try to recruit them. It is a lot of work, but. If you want to lead an alliance and be effective, that's something you got to be willing to do. Um, is putting that extra work and that extra time. So just to recap, monitor donations through alliance. Make sure they're doing the World Warrior so they're not hurting the whole alliance. And get a Discord set up. Discord is so huge. If we didn't have Discord, there'd be so much miscommunication. And setting up raid lanes is so hard. We actually have pictures. We have lists of names, which lanes, where, why, how for every raid on discord and it's there permanently you can't do that here and i personally don't want to type it out to 23 other people in chat here and then the next day they'd be like oh i lost the paper can you give me those again no buddy so discord's just a really huge useful tool they can go in and look themselves and be like there's my name this is my lane look at the raid chart the map i'll take that lane okay and it just makes life a lot easier so definitely check out discord um it will make your life so much better as an alliance leader if I did miss anything, and there's other people that watch this, please down below comment on some things I missed. Um, you definitely want to be having fun. And if you're leading an alliance and you want to be competitive, it's not fun when people don't pull their weight or do their part to help. Or if they're doing things that you take offense to when they're not donating, they're hurting our alliance. And I take a major offense to that, okay? Um, as any alliance leader, I imagine, does. So you just got to weigh the pros and cons. Is it worth keeping them around? Do you want to give them that free loot just for doing bare minimum stuff? Kick them out, man. You know what I mean? Um, they've made it to where you can do it with 18 members now on donations and be getting what we used to get for 24. So you don't need 24 members anymore. 24 is ideal, but 18 you can get it done with. Um, make sure you're having fun, most of all. Make sure you're having fun. Get Discord and make your expectations known to your members. All right, I hope this helps. Fran what is, is it Francis Mendoza? I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for commenting. Um... If there's any other questions or things you want to know, definitely comment again on this video and I will answer them in the comments below. Uh, much love. Stay healthy. We'll see you all in the next one.